Hello Libras, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watcher. If you are cross watching, this could either be your energy or the Libra that you're watching for. Alright Libras, so what is going on? Let's get one overall card for your energy, Libras. We have death reverse scorpio energy so this is transformation endings but it's reversed okay so someone doesn't want to let go of something could be dealing with a scorpio someone doesn't want to change someone doesn't want to transform someone doesn't want to face the music i hear i'm hearing okay it could be dealing with a cancer pisces and definitely a scorpio coming up twice so I feel like something is happening in your life that requires you to really sit with your emotions and um, let things go, let things be. Um, so as much as you could be struggling with letting go, as long as you're feeling these emotions, you're acknowledging what's happening, I feel like that's all spirit is wanting you to do is just to kind of sit with the emotions. Like if you've lost someone in your life or this actually wanted to come through when I was shuffling and I noticed it. But I was like, no, and here it comes up again. Okay, Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, it could be a loss of a Virgo, loss of a water sign here. There's an energy around this Knight of Pentacles, though. Let's get clarity on that. Something maybe even you were working towards fell through. Judgment reverse. These major arcanas are reversed, guys. So you guys are really like not wanting to face the music of whatever it is. I don't know what it is. This is could be Libra energy as well. Now we do have an upright major arcana. You are going to move forward. When I see the chariot and the knight of pentacles, these are both forward movement. The knight of pentacles being slow, the chariot being fast. Okay, so you might just need to slow the process to be present here could be dealing with a Gemini. This is lover's energy coming through. You feel a disconnection with someone though. Perhaps moving forward means leaving someone behind and it's uh, really forcing you to face codependent, um, like a codependent nature you might have. And there's a lot of history here. There's a past. Um, I feel like someone wants to move forward. They don't want to be reminded of something and the past is like continuously coming up but i feel like that's happening for a reason i feel like if you're trying to avoid the past there's something you still haven't dealt with from the past this is communication and the hermit reverse so this is interesting because someone has been really silent someone has been in hermit mode i do feel like they're going to communicate with you i do feel like they're going to explain themselves to you here all right, let's see what else this is about. This is the messages of love from all things intuitive. What is this about? Addiction. Someone's going through addiction, guys, and addiction is affecting this relationship. I mean, that came out right out of the gate, so. Unavailable. Someone is unavailable because they have an addiction. Perhaps it's not like an addiction that you would think, like maybe it's not alcohol or something like that, but it's, even a mental addiction to thinking of things a certain way, a codependent addiction, um, addiction to someone else that they that's unavailable. And then we have apology. You can expect the apology you want. I don't take these kind of cards reverse. So um, this person is going to come around and tell you, explain to you what, what was going on, I feel. If they've disappeared from your life, if you feel like they've been unavailable, I do feel like they're going to explain themselves to you. All right, let's get from the sacred traveler here. What else do we need to know from Libras? What's advice for Libras right now? Crossing bridges. It's time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. Distant thunder. Clear the air. A lot about that. The Eight of Wands is literally air clearing. Okay. Someone's been distant and they want to clear the air about it, okay? I don't know if it's something you want to hear, though. And it's up to you if you even want to hear it. Fresh light, beginning a new cycle. 
you have to let the old die. So if it's an old aspect of this relationship, an old way that you've operated with this person, I feel like if you're going to start over with them, it's going to have to be a new way of being with them. Okay? You are going to have that opportunity, though. Let's see what they want to communicate to you, even though I feel like you are going to get communication from them. What does this person want to say to you, Libra? I'm going to get a couple more. These are all the in the shadows, and I have two decks mixed here. So, All right. <clears throat> We need to let each other go. You guys, you see, you and I were too young, right? You can have a lot of history with this person, that six of cups. I feel like perhaps you, I am different now. I don't, I tell myself that you don't mean that much. I don't know how to let you go. There's definitely an attachment here. I know more than you think. All right. So there's something this person feels and perhaps they're not even accurate, but they feel like because of what they know. They need to let you go. All right. I'm going to pull from this crystal ball messages. So look at this. I don't know how to let you go. We need to. This person is very conflicted. And they feel like they don't know how to be a different person with you in their life. Because you reflect back to them a version of themselves. They're trying to let go. So it has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with their own internal struggle. Autumn, something happened in the fall here. Could even be someone's name, but uh, something that's also Libra's birthday is in the fall, right? Something happened around your birthday time with this person. T Twin flame. All right, this is your person that we're talking about here. Whatever you believe about twin flame, it's just trying to say it is a very significant connection here broom that's like halloween energy spiritual gifts that's clear clearing out the cobwebs we had clearing the air clear out the cobs we revisiting something abandoned renewal of energy you guys how many times do we have beginning a new cycle this is crazy palm manifestation work with the moon cycles creating something from nothing I definitely feel someone in this dynamic has like healing energies though, like in their hands maybe. I don't know. I just got this like strong healing energy. Um, I'm going to use, I wanted to use this one deck, but hmm. All right. I will use this deck. Oh, well, they're kind of some of the cards that I was looking for here, but. All right, this is a very spiritual deck. Let's get some more advice for Libras. I usually use the book to interpret the, these cards, but let's see if I can. If you guys want a new beginning with this person, you have it in your hands to manifest that. It's kind of almost up to you what you want. And perhaps if you're in separation from them, there's a part of you that subconsciously manifested that as well for your own growth, I'm hearing. All right, advice for Libras. Ooh, the rainbow. That is so beautiful. So it's like after the storm, after the darkness, there is going to be a rainbow. Rainbow, that's also renewal energy, you guys. There's constant renewal energy with you. Let's just get some key words of what it says here. Number 41. What does it say for the rainbow? Mm hmm 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 all right. The rainbow symbolizes the seven steps of true spiritual path, which manifest as the colors of the seven chakras. The rainbow tells you that the end of the storm is near. Persevere. Remember that it's darkest before the dawn. Do not give up hope. Things are about to take a positive turn. Listen for the more. Everything is happening for you guys in this dynamic, okay? So... Find the treasure now in the moment by coming into the right relationship with those around you. All your gifts are at hand. So obvious you may have missed them. Be true with your intentions and do not be led astray. So this is also about being present. And I feel like a lot of this dynamic has been very based on the past. And we have um, all your gifts. They said the gifts and then we have spiritual gifts. So you guys are more powerful than you think. And perhaps there's a part of you that has already... That has manifested this exact scenario. So trust that everything is playing out exactly as it should. 
and that everything's going to work out. And like, even if you feel frustrated, even if you feel like there's something wrong here, I feel like it's actually leading you to where you need to go. You're crossing a bridge and you're getting to this bright new beginning. All right, guys, I love you and thank you for being here. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.